am uh, Stelga and Jimothy. Uh, yes, I am a face actor, the face actor. So I do faces. Yeah. So any emotion, I'll have a face for it. Anything. Just give me a, give me a, give an emotion. There are pioneers, and then there's Stelga. From an early age, Stelga and Jimothy had a face for success. Actually, I was born this way, you know, uh, uh, just my face. You know, I could just do any face I wanted to do. I was a prodigy. Stelga N. Jimothy is not a household name, but her legacy permeates the very fabric of Western culture. She is the embodiment of the American dream, in a face. Yeah, they came to Canada. My mother sold her body quite a few times to get here. Uh, so did my father. They did, did like a, a couples, couples thing, you know. You know, you gotta do what you have to do, especially if you're in a situation like that. Uh, they're from Kazakhstan, and uh, it's a straight-faced country. Like they, they themselves had no facial expressions. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to be someone different, and I'm going to show expression in my face. Despite her determination, the road for Stelga was hard. For 16 years, she and her parents lived in an icebox by Toronto's Gardner Expressway. But the experience that truly shaped her was being occasionally bullied at school. You know, learning from that experience being bullied, by the time I got to high school, I was able to show a lot of different faces that people were just scared of me. Those faces may have scared her peers, but they impressed Broadway where she was offered a role in Samuel Beckett's play, Play, on site. And that is when I realized I really wanted to pursue uh, face acting in theater and in film. Her accomplishments on stage were great, but even more profound was her influence behind the scenes as a face coach, which literally changed the face of acting. Show me sadness. Um, at that time, uh, they didn't really care for different face faces and face acting. It was all about the straight face. Hey, Kyle, you, you gotta go. He's got a little bit of a. That that is that's perfect. Yeah, we just wanna. Any time I auditioned for a role, it was more like, we need you to have more of a straight face, and I can do a straight face. I just you know it's boring. All right, we're gonna need. Eyes down more, down more. You know, they're always like, how do you do this? And I'm like, it's because I have 873,000 bone muscles in my face, so, you know. On the eve of her 21st birthday, Stelga received a call from Paramount Pictures that would change her life forever. And they said, we need your help uh, on, this, on the set, and uh, Angelina Jolie, we're having a problem. All she does is the, the pouty duck face, and we need a smile. It was quite a difficult task. You know, she has these really big pouty lips, and uh, I can understand you want to show them off, right? I mean, who wouldn't, right? I, I took her into a private room, and I won't say what happened in that private room, but I'll just say this, that uh, she came out and she did an amazing job, and she came out with that smile. So at that time, I, you know, I was on top of the world. My life was great. Everyone wanted to be my friends, and uh, I had a mansion. Uh, I was dating Michael Jackson. He even said he would go black, back to black for me. I was able to uh, get my parents out of that ice box finally, and yeah, it was amazing. And uh, I was on top of the world. And then, tragedy struck. So after Michael Jackson and I broke up, um, I started to see a young man named Chris Brown. You know, he was really, you know, he used to sing to me and uh, he was really sweet. What Stelga didn't know was that he was a man sweet on violence. We were just arguing because he kept getting, you know, text messages from different girls and I was like, you know, I don't appreciate that and uh, he got quite violent, uh, and I don't cry a lot. You know, I don't really have tear ducts, but that day, they developed. In an instant, Stelga's face and career were shattered. So it was a difficult time for me. I ended up losing 
a lot of money. I almost went bankrupt until one day, I, and I'm not, I'm not proud. I'm not proud of this, but I sold the story of Chris Brown to a current pop star and who will remain nameless. Without that story, I don't think she would be as big as she is today. <laughs> With her confidence in shambles, it would take a miracle for Stelga to rise to her former glory. That miracle came in the form of a phone call from one of her brightest pupils. Stelga and Jimothy, yeah, I need your help. I can't make it to on set to the Lord of the Rings to play Gollum. I wasn't confident uh, that I could pull this off. I said, well, can you give me a little bit of time to think about it? And he was like, you have 30 seconds. 30 seconds later, Stelga was on the adventure of a lifetime. And I flew to New Zealand and I filled in for Andy Serkis as, as Gollum. And I was able to really get my facial expressions out there and they were so supportive. I really have to thank Andy Serkis for that because that's what brought me back into face acting. With the Lord of the Rings behind her, Stelga is once again on the cutting edge of face acting, performance capture. Um, they you know, put the little dots on my face, you know, when I saw it, on the screen, I was like, wow, <laughs> I am a great face actor. I know you can do better, I've seen you. You have more muscles in your face than these two, I know. With the rise of performance capture in video games and films, Stelga is busier than ever, but she still finds time to pass on her immense wealth of knowledge. Your puppy just died. Your mom just died or anyone you love, okay? <laughs> they asked me to act, uh, do a class at Harvard and Princeton and uh, uh, MIT, but I decided to go with Humber College, the best college in the world. <laughs> I'm so proud of you guys. You can stop now. <laughs> <laughs> See, this is an emotional day. I get to tell you. <laughs> Great. You know, a face is worth a thousand words, or in my case, worth 873,000 words because I have 873,000 muscles in my face. Though performance capture continues to advance, the high tide of funny faces in Hollywood is receding once more into the sea of straight faces. Yeah, the straight face acting's back, and, but that's okay because I have my performance capture now and I still have coaching and, and uh, my classes. Until the day the tide turns again, Stelga and Jimothy bides her time and passes on what she has learned as a legend of face acting. Uh, it's going to come back and uh, you know when it does, you're going to come to me.